Welcome to the University of Queensland School of Architecture's online course Photoshop CS5 for architecture students. In this first video of the series we will be outlining the aims of the course as well as giving an overview of the way the online course will work. The ultimate aim of the course is to provide skills to produce amazing architectural presentations we will try and achieve this by introducing you to a software application that is widely used in industry, that is easy to use and can produce good results in the hands of novice operators. These skills will be very useful early in your architectural education at a time when computer-aided drawing skills may be limited and when hand-drawn artifacts are more common. We want to be able to produce engaging presentations from a blend of digital and hand-drawn artifacts that can be easily produced in hard copy as well as shared digitally. We will be using Adobe Photoshop to achieve these aims. It is important to recognize the fundamental difference between an application like Photoshop as compared to other Adobe applications such as InDesign and Illustrator or other applications such as Coral Draw. Basically Photoshop is a raster based imaging program. It uses pixels to paint rather than geometry to define shapes. Let me give you an example. Here we have a drawing that is made in Adobe Photoshop of my favourite robot radio. We can see two lines drawn in the background behind the robot. If I zoom a bit closer to the red line, we can see that the line is represented by a large number of dots arranged in a line. As we zoom closer, we can see that the edge of the line is a bit jagged because the line is drawn diagonally across a rectilinear grid of pixels. Now if we look at a similar image, this time constructed in Adobe Illustrator, we can see the same looking image with the robot and two lines in the background. However, as we zoom in on the red line again, we can see that the line is crisp and straight regardless of the zoom. This is because the application is recognizing the element as geometry, in this case a line that connects two points in space. Because the line is defined by geometry, it does not suffer the same line work resolution issues as Photoshop. It is important to use the right tools for the job. To do that, we need to recognize a tool's strengths and weaknesses. In the case of Photoshop, key strengths would be the relative ease of use. Even as a novice user, you can achieve great results, but the application also has depth to enable you to produce very rich images. The application handles scanned drawings and photographed images very well, so long as you understand the limitations of resolution. Finally, it also has tools that allow you to manage your composition and complete presentations with annotations. The big problem with Photoshop is that it does not handle vector graphics very well. This is important to recognize because all computer-aided design and drawing applications are vector-based. Therefore, transitioning between CAD packages and Photoshop is very difficult. Photoshop is not great for producing large multi-page reports as it does not handle multiple pages. It does not have sophisticated text control and editing capacities nor does it handle text flow easily. Finally, it does not work well in collaborative environments where teams may be working on the same digital document or report. In these circumstances there are more suitable applications like Adobe InDesign or Adobe Illustrator. As a suite of programs they work very well together. It must also be noted that in the early stages of your architectural education you may use applications such as Photoshop beyond its intended utility. This is okay as it takes time to develop new skills and over time when you become familiar with a broader suite of applications moving between them and using the right application from the job will become second nature. Taking an overview of the Photoshop for Architecture students course, the main elements are comprised of the online modules in combination with some in-class workshops. The online video tutorials for Photoshop will be broken down into five main thematic areas with a sequential series of online videos associated with them. In sections 2, 3 and 4 there are exercises 
that you will work with alongside the video tutorials. These exercises will form the basis of the video tutorials. The exercises and resource material associated with the exercises are available via the Blackboard site for University of Queensland students. The introductory modules will cover basic concepts of Photoshop such as navigating and understanding the workspace as well as tips with acquiring and scanning images. The second section is the longer section of the online modules. It is focused on compiling a presentation from hand-drawn artifacts. It will cover aspects of composition and tools and processes that will enliven and enrich your drawings through the application of entourage, light and shadow. In the third section we will be looking at image manipulation and photo montage. These are important in creating contextual imagery for our presentations as well as looking at ways to combine digital imagery from varied sources including photos of models and images from computer models. In the fourth section we will be taking a quick look at some specialized tools and processes. In the final section we will be looking at mixed mode presentations and picking up tips such as photographing your models effectively and recombining images from different modes to create engaging and cogent presentations. The online modules will be augmented with some in-class workshops. The intention of the workshops is to provide you with face time with instructors in order to clarify aspects of the online modules as well as consolidating skills. Some new aspects will be covered during the workshops but is not a formal class per se. The workshops will also provide you with an opportunity to ask questions about your own project work. We hope that you will enjoy these online modules and that you will learn new skills. We look forward to seeing you in the workshops. This material has been made available by the University of Queensland and is freely distributed subject to the appended copyright limitations.